Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today it's uh, May 15th, 2017. It's about almost 5 p.m. This is this is uh, this is just a little short update on what's going on around here. I went to the heart doctor today. I go once a year for a checkup. Every three months I send the data from my pacemaker uh, to their office to be checked. Um, This is, I made this back in 2010. It's now 2015. You know, I thought I had the, uh, I've only had the pacemaker five years. I thought I had it 10 years. Oh, okay. just learn something. I guess, I guess that's why the doctor looked at me kind of funny when I asked how much longer the pacemaker had to go. He said it, uh, the battery would last three more years, that the pacemaker is working all the time, and three more years. Um, I think I've made some videos or some comments on a YouTube video that I've had this pacemaker for 10 or 11 years, and I've, I haven't. I've learned something new. Um, anyway, went to the doctor. Uh, really, I love the, the uh, cardiologist and the group and uh, everything. I shouldn't say that, love. Uh, several years ago, I went and I didn't see the cardiologist. I saw the cardiologist... Uh, uh, doctor's, not assistant, uh, what do you call it, physician, well anyway, uh, I saw her, a uh, very pretty young lady, and when I came home I made a video like this, and I mentioned that uh, I uh, saw her and that I, th- I thought I was in love, and so the next year when I went back, uh, and I saw the doctor, I was talking to him and somehow mentioned something about, I don't know whether, something about YouTube and that I did YouTube videos. And uh, he said, well, what's your your username or whatever there? And uh, I said, HNBBS. And I said, if you just do a search for that at YouTube, you'll find my videos. And uh, he said, oh, okay. And he said, okay, we'll be back in just a few minutes with your paperwork. And then it was quite a while I waited. I mean, not a long time, but it was longer than normal that I waited. And uh, then he came back and he said, we were out looking at your YouTube uh, site and looked at your, looked at the video that I made last year. She looked at it also with him. So, strike the word love. Uh Anyway, I um, pacemaker's got three more years to go. Oh, that's what I wanted to say too. Um, I really should make notes. I should have a uh, should have a script. Um, I uh, he asked about the swelling in my leg and my feet, especially my you know my left leg. He asked, "Does the uh, does the swelling ever go down?" And I said, uh, "No." But I said it did. Back a year or so ago, I went to Washington D.C. to spend two weeks with my uh, daughter and son-in-law, and they're vegetarians. And uh, I went out. We went out exploring every other day, and I walked for like three and a half hours every other day and I was eating just vegetarian food and by the time I got home my leg and my foot were back to normal size. I had never seen them (laughs) normal size for years and then as a few days or whatever after I got back home and ate my regular food and didn't walk uh, my foot was back up to swollen grotesque size and whatever. I I show you everything, don't I? But I'm not going to show you my foot. It's gross. 
So, uh, anyway, oh, then he said, uh, uh, you should, you should move out there and, and, you know, eat the food they're eating and walk around uh, Washington, D.C. or whatever. And I said, I really, that's, I'm thinking about it and uh, working towards that. And he said, well, you know, D.C. is uh, expensive. Uh, to live there and everything, and I said, well, I'm really looking at Silver Spring, Maryland. And he said, that's that's where I'm from, that's where I grew up. And he said, then he talked about, you know, a little bit about it and how nice it was, and that was a good place to be, but there was a lot of traffic nowadays, you know, more than when he was growing up there. So I just had to, to send an email to my daughter and let her know that, uh, but anyway, I am thinking, I mentioned a little bit of it, I think, I am thinking of moving to Maryland, but I got a lease here for 10 more months to go, but also I, I couldn't afford to move unless I was bringing in more money each month than I am because of the increased cost. I looked at, you know, apartments out there and I would need about $500 more a month. So I'm not making it with YouTube and I, I, for the last, this is for the last 28 days, I've made $13.87 from YouTube. So I'm not gonna make it from YouTube. I actually make now more from Amazon commissions but I'm only making about $25 a month from Amazon commissions. But if you all would use one of my Amazon links, and I need to create some links for you in a QR code, barcode, and do a few things like that to make it easy for you to do, it doesn't cost you anything. And if you go to one of my links, I make a commission. And as I said before, it doesn't cost you anything. If if the commission goes up to a hundred dollars a month, every month I will have a contest and give away something every month as long as it stays that it's bringing. Now I'm not going to. Uh, I'm living on a fixed income. I'm not going to. If you all start clicking on links, Amazon links for me, and if I'm getting a hundred dollars a month, I'm not going to. Why well, I might occasionally you know, from time for a special occasion or something, I might give away an item that cost $100. But I won't be doing it a $100 thing every month. That would kind of undo the whole purpose of the thing. But I will have a giveaway every month if we reach the $100 a month commission plateau from Amazon. My goal is 500 a month from Amazon and commissions. I don't know if I can reach it or not. I don't know if I have, you can see how much, you know, you can see how many, I have 2,000 subscribers. Uh, uh, you can see my uh, videos, they really don't get, I mean, you know, they get uh, 60 views, 75 views, 119 views, 122, 120 views. Uh, this is the most recent you know, list of uh, 64 views. Uh, most of those come in right away and then a, tr a trickle of some later. Now, um, I mean, I have in the past the uh, video that got the most reviews, which is I think less than a minute or whatever of a cricket beetle snapping on the floor. Yeah, I got 83,000 views. Uh, but that I've had that video online since 2008. Uh, the next video, which is a really surprise, well, that one was surprising. I just, I was in Miami, Florida, and my, uh, there was this clicking sound, loud clicking sound. The beetle snaps itself in, like in half, and it makes a snapping sound. And that, uh, I guess it's to scare off predators or something. And uh, 
my son said you should make a video of that so I just grabbed the camera and made a video of it and that's got 83,000 views but the next one I'm really surprised is a creative sound blaster uh, sound card that's got 54,000 views now this one I guess I'm not surprised about the installing the Android that's on an old cell phone it's from 2011 and it's got 40,000 views and occasionally somebody leaves a comment I mean that, that was from wanting to know about installing that on a they must have one of those old cell phones so but now this one here I wanted to mention uh, a pill cutting video uh, showing you how to use a pill cutter and that video has 33,000 views well you know uh, Amazon is it's by the way very hot in here uh, the people next door moved in some people next I live in an apartment some people next door moved in and the uh, maintenance man here came out to work on their air conditioner or do something and I took a little nap I was tired from going to the doctor today and uh, I woke up and it was 80 degrees in here and the air conditioner I guess had been running non-stop and was set at 75 degrees and the last time I looked it was 81 degrees and I contacted the office and they said oops the maintenance guy was working next door and he turned off the breaker that turned off by mistake this apartment so they're going to turn it back on so I hope the uh, cools down a little bit in here but back to the pill cutting video um, oh I told uh, so Amazon has been having their things they go through about once a year through different things and they went through and turned off the ability to make any money from a video and so I finally got around to looking the other day and that was one of the videos that they had turned off I guess because in the tags I had drug or something like that and that was enough for their machine to uh, this guy's talking about illegal drugs or something they had a link and it said you know if you want to have this check to make sure to see if it you know should have should should be approved I clicked the link and less than a I think less than a day later they had put it back into uh, into operation um, I'm running Windows 10 here and I'm running the which I don't recommend I get the pro insider previews and I just uh, a few days ago got billed 16193 which is the latest and uh, every time I get and they update quite often every time I get one of these it goes in and turns on some things I guess they have to to do that and it turns on one of the things that turns on is notices and I I don't want notices popping up in a little window on my uh, desktop, but it can go in and change. So I need to go in and change the settings. Um, let's see. I think I've covered all that. You may wonder why I'm showing this keyboard. This is the this part is magnetic, by the way. It goes on the end. It go, it'll go on either end magnetically and this is the keyboard it's a nice keyboard and I've I switch back to it from time time to time I like it but I've had it uh, I think since yeah 2011 and a little bit of the uh, lettering is starting to I'm a touch type as well so that doesn't really matter the blue. but I like it because it has the uh, lighted keyboard and I did a review of it I'll put the link well I'm not going to put the link below because I paid about $60 for it. Now look at that. It's $365. I went to eBay and it was uh, about the same, but you could get some that were used for $50 or whatever. And I think some of them had some wear and tear on them. So this is, I just, this is just a little warning to you. <laughs> Uh, I don't think this keyboard is being made anymore by Microsoft. Uh, 
it doesn't, you know, usually if there's a new model, it'll say down here underneath it, uh, newer model available or something. So I don't think they're making this anymore. And so some manufacturer must have uh, what well, says there are only two left in stock. So, so it's a nice keyboard. Uh, definitely worth 60 bucks. Uh, probably worth 100, 150, but not not 365, so that's something to be careful about. Uh, I guess if somebody, if you had a fetish or something for Microsoft keyboards or, but I don't know of any other keyboard where you can detach the uh, keypad. That is really nice because over here, I, it always gets the mouse, you know, it's better for over here. Plus I never really use it except the page up and page down and that's available when you even with this off it's available here so uh, I think that's all I wanted to oh well no let me jump back you can see how much how much of an organized uh, <laughs> brain I have I've got my door closed because I'm making this video and the it's hotter than 81 degrees in here. It's always warmer. The This is on the west side. The sun is coming in the windows. So I want to end this video here pretty quick and open up the door and let, hopefully, some cool air in. Uh, if I reach, in Amazon commissions, $500 a month, then I will try to move to... Silver Spring, Maryland, and uh, then I would be going into Washington D.C. a lot and making my walking and talking videos, which you all seem to like. I really can't make any more around here. You've you've seen me walk to Walgreens. You've seen me walk to um, the donut shop and. Subway shop or whatever, but if I can get moved to Washington DC, I think I could make a lot of great uh, great videos, so uh, I'll put a link below to uh, Amazon for something and When you go if you go there, you don't have to buy the thing that it links to if you go there and you're logged in then, if you go and buy something else, I get a commission. If you go there, say you went there for this, and you went there and you think, mm, I think I want to get that, I think that's a good idea. Jim had a good idea with this product, you know, whatever it is. But if you decide, I'm going to check something else, and you log out and go check something else, and then you come back here, not using my link. You come back just to Amazon, you type Amazon.com, I don't get a commission. So I need to set up some things to make it easy for you guys because, you know, you don't want to have to come and search, go to Jim's site, find his Amazon link, you know. So I've got to make it easier for you to do that. Uh, maybe what I might do is something like have... Uh, one of my sites slash Amazon. Some of you could remember. Uh, Howard'sNotebook.com is one that I own. I don't think I am using. That might be too long to need something shorter. Anyway, if you have any ideas. But anyway, I would love to be doing the giveaway. I hope we can reach $100 a month and I can start doing that giveaway. And uh, I don't know if you're if you realize Amazon has a thing, so I could pick out any product and then I go into a setting and say what I want people to have to do. Uh, click thumb up, um, um, watch a video, something like that. And then you're entered in the thing. Anyway, I set that up and then I purchase, I buy the product and then that's it. I don't have to pick out 
try to pick out somebody, see if you, you know, it takes care of that for me. So that, you know, and I told you, you know, that I'm lazy. So, so let's hope we can get to $100 a month and I can start doing a giveaway every month. And let's hope I can get to $500 a month. I think I could make some great videos in Washington, D.C. So, uh, thank you very much for watching.